Okay, we're up to the new parak. We're up to parak of base, daf of base. I'm starting on a new parak. Uh, this parak is not de- dealing right now with the coin Gadol Yom Kippur. It's dealing with the Seder Hayyim Tamid. This is a mission in Tamid, and it's discussed the four the, the the four lotteries that existed by the Kahanim to go ahead and choose their jobs, and to choose a job. Tonight we're going to discuss the mitzvah of Shumas Hadeshen, which we discussed many times before. But just to reiterate, Shumas Hadeshen is the coin would go up, he would take a shovel, he would go to the Maracha, the pyre, go from the inner coals, go down and place it on the southeast corner of the of the of the Mizbeach, really on the side of the Kevesh, the rim, and miraculously it would go ahead and be swallowed up in this place. That's called Trumas Hadeshen, the separating of the ashes. So we're going to discuss the first stop, is going to discuss that. And then tangentially, we're going to go off and discuss counting, uh, counting, because if they count the, they would stick their fingers out and they would count their fingers. That's how they would count the gyro. The Gemara asks, why don't they count them? Why are you counting the gyro? So the Gemara says, we don't count people even for the bar mitzvah. And the raya is from Shol HaMelech. And so this is the biggest daf in, in Shas that deals with the story of Shol. So the first part of the daf is, is Yom Kippur. And the second part of the daf is, 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 is the Nevi'im Rishonim of, of Shol and a little bit about David. It says the Mishnah. Initially, anyone who wanted to go ahead and tire in the Mizbeach, to separate the, the ashes in the Mizbeach, tire him. Anyone, anyone who wanted. In other words, it wasn't chosen al a, a girl. Anybody who wanted to do it would do it. And, and when there were many people who wanted to do it, so they came up with a system. Rutzen, they'd have a race. Rutzen, they'd run. They would walk, uh, you know, ascend up the, the, the ramp. Anyone who would get within four amos of the top of the Mizbeach, as we'll see, he would be zoycha to do Chumas Adeshen. And if they were close enough that you couldn't tell who was the winner, the mamuna, the one in charge, would say to them, stick out your finger. Umahe might see, and how many fingers would they stick out? Acha is either one, or shtayim, or two. The in might see in agoido the migdash. They would not stick out the agoido in the migdash. If the coin is counting, and you, you say, let's say the number R is 50, and you realize you're going to be off by one, right? You'll be 49, the other one will be 50. If you go like this, he won't 40, you know, he'll go 49, 50. So, in order to avoid a little uh, haram, a little trickery, they, and when they would go ahead and stick their finger out, they wouldn't stick out the thumb because it can distance. And if the coin's counting quickly, he may go ahead and count uh, a, a number that and end up by the person uh, that you know, that really was the number fifty. In my case, what? Second. This is in the second base. It does. It doesn't say they're doing the first, but this took place in the. This again, I would think the second base at first base English as well. I don't know why I would say the second. I don't know why it, it could be the first base English as well. I would say the first. I mean, I would say this is, yeah, I wouldn't, yeah. Why second? Why would you think different? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, a, I'm asking, why, why would you think different? It's not a, it seems to be, uh, I would say the first base English. I would say it would make a difference. Uh, the mice they both equal, the rots and the they were running and they were ascending. They were going up the ramp. One would go ahead and push his friend. The Nafal he fell off the, the ramp and he broke his leg. Since Bezdin saw that it would come to a Sakana, in other words, no longer did they leave it up to, to a race, no longer did they leave it up first come for a serve. They went ahead and they, they, they made this one. Uh, a lottery. The Arba Payas, I saw you shown. There were four lotteries that took place every day in the base of Migdash. The Zeha Payas Rishon, and this was the first one. We remember from the Sechtash Golem, we went through this. We said the Kahanim that never went ahead and did it makes you made you wealthy. So you, you would go ahead, and, and that was the third one. We had different Payas. Okay. Says the Migara of Bahame, Kara my time relate to King Lerab Banam Payas. Why did they have to wait? In other words, Pashtus, guys, it's Trumas Adeshen. It's an avoida. You think the kahanim want to do it. So let's say a few kahanim show up. Baruch Hashem, we have, we have uh, kahanim here in share, right? They show up and let them stick their fingers out and make a pious. 
why this initial running racing, right? What, because what was it initially that they did have the pious, that they had to have the race, that eventually they had to go ahead and even attack in the pious? Right? Since it's an avoid of the night, right? it wasn't chashiv, and they wouldn't, now poshiv means they wouldn't come. For Rashi guys, they wouldn't fight over it. They wouldn't come to fight over it. In other words, to say that the Kahanim would be totally disinterested and not come at all to do Chumas Adeshin, that is not pshat, says Rashi. And it, it's muchach in the Gemara like this. Guys, you hear the way Rashi's learning. They wouldn't come to fight over it. There wasn't enough to fight over it. So in other words, there wasn't a tremendous people, amount of people who wanted to do it. There wouldn't be a fight, so it was unnecessary to go ahead wide and have a lottery. However, even the Chazid de Ka'asu, since they saw they in fact did come, and they did want to do it, the Asla de Sakana, and it came to Sakana because of the race up the midst of the ramp, the King Lu Paisa, then they were attacking the pious. Good. So again, the fact that it wasn't on avoid the Chashuva, it wasn't on avoid the Chashuva, so to make a pious, but eventually it came to Sakana, so they made what? They made a pious. They would be the Oh, I don't know what you're saying. Again, it was smash my avoid the lila. It wasn't so chashik. That's what it says. It wasn't chashik. That's what it means. I don't know. I don't know. Night shift, day shift. This is what it was at that time. This man is there. It'd be nothing because there is nothing. This man is there's nothing. Okay. Anyway, varei varim upedarim the avoid this lila. He Fred the Gemara. The limbs and the burning of the fat is avoid this lila. And there is a pious who goes ahead and does this, who brings the Ivarim up to the Kevesh and who burns it. So you see that what the fact that it's nighttime is not a reason not to go ahead and make a lottery. Because after all, the burning of the fats of the Ivarim and the is is in fact there is a lottery. And for the Gemara Saif avoided the Imamahi. That the means the chashivas is it's the end of, of the daytime carbon, says Rashi. Saif avoided Yamamahi. Shahu Gamru shall carbon inishkat bayoin. It's the completion of the carbon that was geshakhtan during the day. And its blood was sprinkled during the day. Therefore, it was chashiv for the Kahanim to come and again, Lariv to fight over it. So, it's not so much it's a nighttime avoida, it's the fact that it's it's the fact that the chashivas of the avoida, since this is the end, even though it's done at night, since it's the end of a chashiv of avoida done during the day, they'll come to fight over it and therefore necessitated a, a pious, a lottery. So right now, that's the mahalaf. The reason initially it wasn't a lottery, why? Because they wouldn't, it wasn't chashiv and they wouldn't come to fight. In fact, they saw they did come to fight, right? They were running and and who knows what happened? They fell off. So they made a lottery. Fred the Gemara Kasha, so if a nighttime avoid is not Khashim, what about the, the burning of the Evarim, the Fedarim? Because, well, guess what? That's the, that's the avoid of the day. And even though it's, the time is night, it's the end of that. And therefore, what? They would come to fight over it. And therefore, they went ahead and they were attacking a pious. Fred the Gemara, Hanami Tchilas avoided the Yamamihi. Oh, you're telling me it's telling Khashivos that as long as it's the daytime avoid. You'll need a pierce. The first daytime avoida is the Chumas Adesha. So once it gets the Hashivas of being an avoida, they'll come to fight about it. Again, it doesn't have to do, seem to be doing laziness. It doesn't have to do with that nighttime getting up. It's not that. It's the Hashivas of the avoida. You're telling me the Avorim, the Pedorim, is Hashiv at night because it's the completion of an avoida of the day, which gives it its Hashivas. So the Chumas Adesha which is the first in the Havamina, the first avoida of the day, the fact that it's an avoida of the day gives it its chashivus. The Amar of, the Amar of Yechanan, Kiddush Yodav, the Trumas Hadashen, if a person goes ahead and washes his hands for Trumas Hadashen at night, Lemachar 
when it comes the morning, ain't tzarech l'kadesh. He doesn't have to wash his hands again. Shekva kiddish mitchilas avayda. So you, because he already what? He was makadish to the beginning of the avayda. So despite the fact that nighttime, it started at night. But it's the beginning of the avayda of the day. Meaning the day that's going to be. It's the first thing. And the, re, the raya that's an avayda is if you wash your hands from the kiyar, right? You don't have to wash your hands when it comes daytime. So the, again, the, the, the washing of the hands, it's still what? It's still intact. So therefore, as long as you don't have Hesach Adas, as long as you don't have Hesach Adas, so that washing proves that it's the avoider of the day. And if it's the avoider of the day, then you should need a pious, because it's choshev. That's the most kasha. You should need a, you should, you need a, it's a vice of the day. It's chashiv and you should need a pious. That's what the Gemara is saying. And for the Gemara, now, when it says that what? That you don't have to wash your hands. Don't say you were of the beginning of the avayda, but that that time span that between Kriya Sagever and the morning, when you could do Chumas Adashem, and the morning is such a small time span, not a great time span. So your washing then would help you to do the avoida when the avoida started. But not that what the Chumas Adashin is an avoida. You wash for the other avoida to follow. But the Chumas Adashin is not an avoida. And therefore, there was no pious initially until it came to a sakana and they instituted a pious. So right now we're holding, we're holing, but we're holding you at a good a spot. We've explained why. The Gemara is beginning kasha. Why Trumas Adeshen initially didn't make a pious? Since it wasn't an avoida chashuva, then therefore there was no pious. Ah, you see, there's a avoida chashuva because you don't have to wash your hands. No, that's what it, if you wash your hands at that time, Kriyas Agedra, it helps let avoida for the avoida to follow, but not that Kriyas, that the Trumas Adeshen is an avoida. Ikad the army, another reason why uh, they did not institute a pious initially, Meikara Sava. Even the ikka oynishena layasi. Since there's an oynish that by accident you'll be sleeping, layasi you won't come. Even the chazid also, since they said they did come, the chazid name of the sakana, the king of the rabbana pious, the rabbana made, 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 made a pious. It also is the nighttime that's worried about people falling asleep that the king of the rabbana pious. So, and for the Gemara, something we all know, guys. Shiny migna mimekin. It's a lot different going to sleep or stay, staying up rather than getting out of bed. It's much harder to get out of bed in the morning than it is to refrain from going to sleep, even though you're tired. So Mimela, that's not enough of a reason not to have a pious, because they'll stay up. Fred the Gemara, Fitakanto Lahakisa Havoi. Takanto Lahakisa Havoi. There is what? You're making a takana. For one side, but not the other side. What does that mean? The Tanya. Misha Zocha the Trumas Adeshen, the pious guys of the Trumas Adeshen, Zocha Besida Maracha, he was Zocha to be Masad the pyre, who Beshne Gizre ate him and to bring up the two Gizre ate him. Right? So if you were going ahead initially, you said initially, you didn't go ahead and have a pious for the Trumas Adeshen because it took place so early in the day. What are you doing at the other expense of the Seder of the Maracha and bringing up Shnei Gizri Yitzim, which the Chayra, it, it, it's, it's an Avayda Chashuva, at least in this, this, this instance. Let's see Rashi in this. Four lines down, it gets wide. The Takantal Haikisa Havoy Kushahi, the Chimifne Takala Shiru Nitkin Lapias. It was shred to you, but only because of Takala did you go ahead and institute a lottery, only because of what falling off, off, the, off the ramp. Well, like Gisa Havoy. The one who did Chumas Adeshen is the one who's Masada the Pyre. But even the Kula of the Kayan Echad, Yesh can avoid this Chashu voice. Who may Karaboy Pious. Guys, we're going with this rule of thumb, right, fellas? As long as it's an avoid the Chashuva, Kahanam go on and do it. If Kahanam go on and do it, what do you need? You need a system to go ahead and choose. What's that system? The lottery. Why didn't you do Chumas Adeshen? Because it wasn't a, uh, it wasn't chashuva. But one second, a, attached to the Chuma Sadeshen, is Sida Sida Maracha and Shnei Gizrei Yitzim bringing up the two logs. So and that does that, and that's an avoda chashuva. 
So why why would you not have a a pious intact for those avodas? After all, the one who did Shuma Sadesh and got the other two. Uh, that's the Gemara's Kashra. So we should have to have a pious for the other two. And for the Gemara, no, no, no. Amr Ravashi, Shtei Takonis Havid. There were two Takonis. May Kara Savar, initially they held Layasu, they wouldn't come. Either because it wasn't Chashiv or because of sleep. Even the Chazid, the Kaasu, since they saw they did come, even though despite its lack of chashivas, or despite the fact it was hard to get up in the morning, the asunami lay sakana as a result of running up the ramp, to kinule paisa, they were metakana pious. Oh, now, guys, once you have a lottery in place, let's 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 yeah. bait let's bait the rat, let's bait it a little bit more. In other words, let's make it a little more spicy, right? So what did they do? What did they do? Even the kinule paisa, once they were metakin the pious for chumas adeshen. Layasi, they didn't come. Amri, mi yema de misrami law. In other words, when the possibility existed for me to get the job, I'm willing to get up because maybe I'll go. And if I have to raise somebody, I'll raise somebody. But they're going to make a pious, I'm going to have to go. I'm not going to go. Maybe I won't get it. So I got up for nothing. So what do they have to do? They had to go make it more enticing to, to get up. So what did they do? Beautifully. In order they should come and be part of the lottery. So, no, what's your kasha? Your kasha is you, you, you weren't attacking for the, for, of course, the lack of chashivas of the chumas of the chumas adeshen. You should have been attacking a lottery for the other two. And for the Gemara, the other two weren't part of anything, they weren't associated with it at all. The first lottery was only chumas adeshen. But it didn't accomplish what you wanted. When it wasn't a lottery, people would get up and come. Why? The chances I could do it. Then it came to Sakana. They stopped it. They don't want Sakana. So they said they came up with a great idea. We'll be attacking a, a lottery. So what happened? The conference stopped coming. Why? What's the chance of me getting it? Right? It's not worth it. So what did they do to make it a little more what? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Enticing, right. To make it a little more enticing, so they went ahead and they added the shnei see the marocha and the shnei gizrei ate them, and now and then then they came. That was that night, right? What? That was that night. The pious who would do it? No, the gizrei. And one in the morning, one at night. Yeah. Yeah. That that was that night. Yeah, but again, they wanted a lot to do it. You don't have to be in order. Who's going to do it? Whoever did that night would do it. Would have to get up and do the the desha. No, there's two gizrei ate them, one in the morning and one at night, and that was it. This is one in the morning. Yeah, 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 one in the morning, one in the night. Yeah, one for the carbon time, carbon and our life. We said when there are many, they would run and they'd get to what? Four Amis. Now, it doesn't say which four Amis. I touched it for you guys. Which four Amis? Four Amis within of, of the Kevesh, four Amis the beginning of the Kevesh, four Amis in the middle. I mean, it doesn't say where. It just says whoever reached for four Amis would win the race. Yeah, so, right. Amra Papa Pshitali Arab Amis the Araloi. It can't be four am amis on the ground. You know, it's four amis within the Mizbeach. Why? Rotsin va oilim bekevish tanan. Because the lush of the Mishnah was what? You're running and you're you're ascending. You're you're running and you're ascending. So if you're running and ascending, then obviously what it's uh it's uh it's okay. you're on the kevesh. Kamai sanami loy, the first four amis when you hit the kevesh not. Rotsin for oil and bekevish then. Mashma guys for oil and not right away. It means oil and you're going up. For hodok kola koydim es chaveroi. And then it says what? You're going up and koydim chaveroi. Mashma not at the beginning. Guys, it's mashma. You went up and somebody beat you. It says mashma that's not right in the beginning of four amis. The baini, baini, the 50 yard line, loy, loy me Simon Milsa, because they didn't have, they didn't have, they didn't have markings on the kevish. They didn't say, here's, the, you know, the, the finish line. They didn't have the guy the taking line? pictures at the finish, you know, like the, 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 the marathon. Now, Pshitali, the Gabi Mizbeach Tanan. So it's Pasha to me, the Gabi Mizbeach Tanan. It's four Amis and Mizbeach. Okay? So, uh, uh, so now, it, the, the Kevesh was 32 Amis long, and the Mizbeach was 32 Amis long, a total of 64, but in fact, it was only 62. Why? Because the Mizbeach had a Sovev, an Amma, and then it had an Amma of the Yisoyed. So two of those Amis were covered up. Two Amis and Mizbeach 
counting from the bottom. So in other words, let's say this would be an ama of the Asaid, this would be an ama of the Sovev, the, the Kevesh covered up those two Amas, good? Now the question is, is it up to those two or up to beyond those two? So boy, Rav Papa, Arma Ama Sh'amru, the Hadei Ama Yisoyed Ama Yisoveiv, is that including the Ama of the base and the Ama of the Soveiv that went around the Mizbeach? Aydilma Bar Me Ama Yisoyed Ama Yisoveiv, maybe it means excluding that, and the Gemara says, Teiku, and that we remain questionable. Mahayish name Shavim, we said if they're both equal, then Hamamuna Amalehem, the Muna says to them, Kitzpiu, stick out your fingers. Right? Tana, Kitzpiu Espoi Sehem, Liminion. Okay? They, they stuck out their fingers to be counted. Fred the Gemara, Benim Ninu Livi too. Why are you sticking out the fingers to be counted? Why don't you count them themselves? You know, count, count the people themselves, count the heads of the people. How many people are there? So Messiah Reb Yitzchak, this is a riot to Reb Yitzchak, right? Dom Reb Yitzchak, asa limna says Yisrael afilu dvar mitzvah. It's asa to go ahead and count Yisrael afilu dvar mitzvah. I'll be with you in a second, my shtich siv. Vayif gedeim babezek. It said that Shol counted the people before they went to battle against Amalek. He counted them using shards of, of pottery. So why don't you count them directly? So you see, afilu dvar mitzvah, to know how many people are going to battle, you have to count objects. Good. Yes, Marsh, what's your question? Who is getting counted? Just the two who tied or everyone on the... No, the, the, the lottery worked like this. The lottery, the, the, when the lottery, there's no two ties. There's no tie anymore. They, that ended. Since, the, since the, it came to a sakana that one guy fell off and broke his leg, they ended the races. Then they had a lottery system. The lottery, we're going to get to it, basically worked like this. The kahanim would go in a semicircle. You would take the hat off one of the kahanim. Another this is if this is if they tie. This is what used to happen if they tied. No, 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 no. This, the, yeah, no. Now we're saying we're saying we're, we're saying that that they they instituted a lottery. You know, they instituted. It says over here in the in the if they tied, they stuck at their fingers. Right, if they tied, they, they stuck out their fingers. And look at the Mishnah. Um, let me right. speak. So my if they tied, they stuck out their finger. Who, who, who gets who gets to stick out their fingers? Just the two people who tied, or uh, everyone uh, who uh, would no, uh, no. I, I initially, I think the two people are tied. I think the two people are tied, and then, and then, of course, the, the other people were disinterested, and then it came to a sakana. They made a pious as as the permanent thing. Okay. Okay, so now it says, he, he counted them. So you see the mitzvah that you count for what? For you count by shards. How do you know it's a lushan of a broken piece of pottery? Maybe it's the name of a city. In other words, that Shol counted the people in the city of Bezek. How do you know it's a bet? It's such a city. It says Vayimsu Adani Bezek. They found Adani Bezek. He was the he was the Melech of Bezek. So you see, it's a place. So what's your raya that you can't count people? El Amehacha. It says Vayashma Shol Esaom, and Shol he gathered the people. Vayifkedim Batloyim. Okay, Vayifkedim by Bezek. I incorrectly told you is when he went against Amalek. No, that's when they went against Pelishtim. By Yifkidim, but Tloyim, he counted the sheep is when they went against the Molech. Shol, each Shol went ahead and he took sheep. He gave a sheep to each person and they counted them. Anyone who counts Yisrael is over on the love. Shinema, it says, The amount of people in Bnei Yisrael are like the, the sand of the sea. Asher lo yimad, that can't be measured. So lo yimad is much, but don't measure them. Of Nachma Yitzchak Arma Oivu B'Shnei Lavim Yoyv and Tu Lavim Shneimar Lo Yimad, do not measure them. But Lo Yisaper and they should not be counted. So you see Oivu and Tu Lavim. Amar Shmuel Nachmeni Rav Yannison Rami Kesiv V'Hoi Yimisva Bnei Yisrael Kechol Ayom Ukesiv Asher Lo Yimad Lo Yisaper. So it says that you can't count them. Mashma the, 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 the number was Kechol Ayom. That's a number. 
a lot of number, but it's a number. And then it says they can't be measured or counted. Like Hasha, come as much as you saw, it's not such a mock, and then they can't be counted. Come as much as you know, it's not such and then they can be counted. Rebbe, I mean, Shema be Yosi ben the story, like Hasha, come be the other, come be the Shemayim. Be the other, be the Shemayim, they could be counted, be the other not. Amrav na loy bar idi, Amrav na bar idi, Amrav Shmuel, Kibin shin isman odam panas al atzibur, since the person becomes a leader of the tzibur, this asse gets wealthy, and we learn that from Shaul. It says by Shaul, by Yifkadein by Bezek, he was so poor he had to count them using pottery shards. Well, the slave Kasev by Yifkadein by Tloyim, he counted them using sheep. So obviously he became wealthy enough to go ahead and upgrade from uh, pottery shards to sheep. The Dilma midid who Fred Gemara, how do you know he became wealthy? Maybe the sheep are the people; they belong to the people. Each person provided their own sheep. And Cain says the Gemara, my Ravusa the most. So what's the Ravusa the most? Okay, as Akdama. To the next piece of the Gemara, let, let's let me speak to you a little about uh, Shaul and about David and, and, and different things. Okay, we met Shaul. Shaul was anointed in Shkalim. He was anointed using a pach shemen, whether it was shemen afraslimoyin or was shemen mishchus. Used to be machloikus. Bavli Yushalmi. We said that Shaul's malchus didn't last. The raya was that he was anointed with a pach, which is a, 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 a earthenware kli which can break. Whereas David was anointed with a keren, with a horn, which is a harder material, or a horn has an opening and a clothing on both ends. So David's malchus would be constant, whereas Shoal would be full. And um, Shoal's malchus, unfortunately, uh, did, did not last. Shoal is guilty, according to this Gemara of, of, of uh, one Aveira. In fact, the Gemara is going to ask, he did another Aveira, and I'm going to bring in a third Aveira. Shoal's primary Aveira that he did was he failed to listen to the words of the Navi. The Navi told him to go wipe out Agag and Amalek and the, everyone, the men, the women, the children, the animals. And he failed. He left animals alive. He left Agag alive for one, for one night. I saw a shot once that uh, he felt that, that the king had a din of Osa Bespinali Shashato, last week's parsha. We can't go ahead and kill a mother and his flock on the same day. So he's going to wipe out Amalek. How could he kill the mother, the flock, or the father of the flock? In this case, Agag, and he was going to kill him the next day. Whatever the lum this was, he, he didn't do it. He failed. As a result, uh, from that night, his, his, he impregnated a woman. She escaped in the form of the sheep, and she was the forefather or foremother of Haman. Of Haman. That's Haman, Haman Ha'agogi. Haman Ha'agogi, he was a descendant of Agag. Uh, Shoal was an incredibly, incredibly great person. And we know the amount of Averis Shoal did. But unfortunately, if you just read the, the Navi, it appears that Shoal spent his life chasing after David. Now, David, in fact, was a Marib Malchus. There's no bigger more of a malchus than a king who's anointed in the lifetime of a king. Shul, David was anointed by Shmuel in Shul's lifetime as a punishment to Shul. Shul asked the owner of the Tumim he didn't, whether he should go to battle, and he didn't wait for an answer. <coughs> he connected the Mida, and Kaddish Baruch did not wait for him to die before he took away his malchus. Okay? So now, his malchus was lost because when he went to battle against Pelishtim, Shmuel told him, wait till I come. And he waited, but he, he waited and he brought the carbon too early. He, he didn't wait long enough. Shmuel showed up, and Shmuel tells him, you lost the Malchus because of this. But from the Gemara, it's Mashma, he lost the Malchus because he failed to kill Agag. So the Tosh Tzishonim points out that no, he lost the Malchus personally when he failed to wait for Shmuel, but it would have remained in this Mishpacha. When, in fact, the, the, he failed to kill Agag, neither can I give me the, he didn't kill Agag, he was killed. Shul loses his life, and his children, his sons, they lose their life in battle. They, they in battle against the they, they battle against the Pelishtim that killed they killed in battle. Whether Shul committed suicide or not is is, is questionable. The, again, is, is, uh, according to the Naram Aleki and Shmuel Beis, he said he's guilty of committing suicide. He found him, but Pachis. So this is the, the Navi now is discussing about the inner term, turmoil of Shul, who was the nicest person in the world. But to be the Melech, he can't be the nicest person in the world. You can't. You have to have a shtolz. You have to. You have to do. The, the king has to be have his eyes in the kaddish baruch hu. Even if it's not the nicest thing. Shol was just too nice to be the king, as we'll see. So that's the hakdam. Says the gemara. The pasuk says vayorav v'nachal, and literally this is the battle. This is the battle against Amalek. Perek Tesvav. It says vayorav v'nachal, and he fought in the valley. Vayorav v'nachal. He fought in the valley. Omer Avmani al iske nachal. Shol was having this conversation with himself. He was saying, Vayarav, he was fighting, guarding 
the ha-mitzvah that takes place in the valley. What's the mitzvah that takes place in Nachal? One nefesh, the Torah says, we know if you find a dead body between two cities. We measure which is the closest. The one that's closest goes ahead and has to bring, go to Nachal Eisan, go to a, an area that hadn't been worked, and you take a, an eagle and you decapitate it over there, and that's all for what? With tremendous amount of fanfare and publicity. The, 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 the Sefer Chinuk says maybe we'll find the murderer as a result of all this fanfare and publicity. That's the reason for it. And as a result, the chashivas of a human being, so kolon nefashis, halolo lachas kama v'kama, so therefore, by Yerav Benachal, Benachal means what? Referring to Egla Rufa that's brought Benachal. And therefore, Shol is, is, is in a dilemma. If, 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 if the, the people did Averis, why did the animals do wrong? Then Gedoylem Chatu, Ketanamai Chatu. So Yotze Baskel Vamaloi, I'll take Tzadik Harbi. Don't be such a Tzadik. Don't be such a Tzadik. Guys, think about it. If Shol killed out a Malik, we, we'd be home free. A Malik is the is the shliach of uh, of the Sutton in this world. If Shal would have killed out a Malik, it's misplaced Rahmanis. I always think about what about a Ramavinu had misplaced Rahmanis and not brought Yitzchak as the Karma. It says the Yirish Oiva, the Yirish Zarah Zarov Shar Oiva, your children will inherit the gates of your enemy. Ramban says that's a Raya Avtach will always be around. So exactly it was that what that Avram did not have misplaced Rachmanis. He had the Ratzon Vakadish Baruch in front of him. Where Shol's misplaced Rachmanis was still around. We did, Amalek is still around. I'll tell you something fascinating. The, the Rambam brings in Hilchs Malachim, the Rambam brings there's a mitzvah to kill out the Zion, Zion, Zion Umas. Pivi, Kranim, mitzvah to kill out the Zion Umas. It says, of the It says already it's been lost in Zichrom. Why? Because Sancheiruv came up, and what did he do? He mixed up the world, right? So we don't know who they are. He brings the mitzvah killing like a Malik, and he does not say of it so, it, says, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. Malik is still here. They're still here. Whether a Malik is a philosophy, but a Malik is still here. The Rambam says, Zainumais, Ukfar of it That's lost. But I'm all like, he's still here. He's still here. But he doesn't say it. Two distinct halafas. Anyway, so he fails. So Baskel comes out and says, don't be such a tzaddik. Now, sh- little background, guys. David is running away from Shaul. He, he comes to the field. He meets Yohanan's son. Yohanan's son, they separate. Yohanan's son did not bring him any food. David is starving to death. David is starving to death. He's dying from starvation. He comes to a city called Noiv Ir Kahanim. The Kahanim used to live in separate cities because of Tum of the Tyra. You see, the Kahanim, so the Ir Kahanim, that's like Ir Kahanim. They, like you always want the Ir Kahanim. They live in, because of, you had to be in this in Tum of the Tyra all the time. But they still did not be in this Tum of the Tyra. So they would live together, Kahanim. You know this? They live together. To, okay. He comes to the city. The, 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 the Mishkan is, is in, 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 uh, in the city there, right? In, in uh, Mark. No, 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 yeah. And Achimatz is carrying out Lechem. He's the Kain Gadol. He's carrying out Lechem upon him. And David says, "What's that?" He says, "That's." He goes, "You can't eat that. That's you know." So David tells him. He says, first of all, he goes, I could eat it. It's not on the. It's not on the Shulchan anymore." He goes, "I'm sorry. I'm starving to death. I could eat anything." And even so, Achimatz gives it. And Doi Gadomi was there in Nov. And he was malshin to, to Shlomo, to, to, to Shaul. He was malshin to Shaul that Achimatz was loyal to David, the Moray B'Malchus. As a result, here's what happens. And when Shaul tells Doyek, turn around, go, and kill the Kahanim. Don't be such a Russia. The converse in Shaul. How much? Person has to the Shmaya, then there's nothing you have to worry about. Says Rashi. How a person is supported and entrusted. He doesn't have to worry at all. 
Mikol Ra. Misha Kadachu Be'ezer, where Kodesh Baruch helps him. Shari Metzinu Shol Nichshol Be'achas. Shol does one Aveira, but also Loi Lera, and this one thing Aveira goes up, the Kain Say Misa, to make him die. Levatel Malchusai, to cause his Malchus to end. V'dobo Nichshol B'shtayim, David does two Aveiras, Loi also Loi Lera. So Shol hastes to not have the Siyat of the Shmaya, one of David. Shol Ba'achas V'loi also Loi, David B'shtayim also Loi, V'loi also Loi. Shol ba'achas in the Gemara. Shol does one avera, but also loy in this one avera cost in the malchus. David b'shtayim. David does two averas loyosle and does not cost in the avera. Shol ba'achas ma'i. What's the one avera that Shol did? Ma'isa de agag. The ma'isa the failure to kill agag and leave him alive. Fred the Gemara. How can you say you only did one avera? For you can ma'isa de noivi a kahanim. He wiped out a whole city. And for the Gemara, ma'isa de agag siv nichamti. I regretted kiim lachti as Shol. I regretted that I made Shol the king, right? Lamelech. Okay, in other words, it's mashma that Shol did more than one Aveira. However, the one that cost him his Malchus was the Aveira of what? Of Agag. Shol, uh, David did two Aveiras, but it didn't cost him Malchus. David b'shtayim my you know, what's the two Aveiras of, of, of David? Is Duria Udiasas. Okay, we, we spoke often about David and about Sheva. Uh, David. Oh, the, the, uh, Uri went to battle. They used to give him a, a get, get on a condition, according to Rashi, that if you return from the battle, then, you divorce, uh, you, then you're not divorced. And if I don't return from the battle, you are divorced. David is with Batsheva before he can ascertain whether she's divorced or not. He then tells, he, he tells Uri to go home. Uri doesn't go home. Uri doesn't listen to him. Uri, Uri is married with Malchus. So he sends Uri, he tells you, you know, put him in the forefront. You know, he uh, put him near the wall when they throw the rocks down. So he, he died. He died in battle. So says the Gemara, David's two Averis to Uriah. He killed Uriah, Uda Hasasa, and he counted the people at the end of his life. There was a Dever, and he counted the people. Fred the Gemara, he was with he bat Sheva before he ascertained whether she was an Ashish or not, meaning whether she was a Suffolk Ashish. Hasam Ifrumine. Over there, but Sheva, he took retribution. In other words, he got paid back for that. The Chsiv. Okay, guys, back at background. After the Mice about Sheva, after he kills Uriah, comes along Nas and Anavi. He tells David there was a rich man, there was a poor man, very famous marshal from the most famous Mishalim in Tanakh. There was a rich man, there was a poor man. The rich man had uh, many sheep, the poor man had only, only one sheep. A guest came to the house of the rich man. What did he do? He went and took the one sheep of the poor man. He said, David, he would have to pay back four times. Right here, we have, you know, you steal a sheep and you kill it. Dollar the hey, you got to pay back four times. He says, Nassim, you're the guy. You got many wives. He had one wife. You took his wife. You're the guy. You got to pay back four times. It's afraid the Gemara, there's the Maisa Batsheva. And for the Gemara, no. When we said he did two Averis, it means two Averis didn't cause the Malchus that we don't have him directly punished for. Mashenkin over here, he was punished. We're not counting the Averis where he was punished. How was he punished? How, how are the four things he was punished? It says, Vakif, so you shall me time. David says, for the Kevish, he's going to pay back four times. Yeled, the child that Batsheva was pregnant with, died. Amnon, his oldest son, David's son, Amnon, was Ma'anis, his, his half-sister, Tamar. And Amnon was killed by Avshalom. Tamar, he had, she was an Anusa from Amnon, Avshalom, and Avshalom's rebellion, and he was killed. So, Safed the Gemara, Hasanami, Ithromine, also wrought by... by uh, uh, by the Maisa di Satan, when he counted the people, he also was paid back. Right? What does it say over there? So, and 20, I don't know how many people died, that tens of thousands of people died. So, hustle my fraud me gufe. Over there, he didn't take personally. Says, so, hustle Nami by the four, not Nami lawyer for me gufe. Says, I'm a fraud me gufe. He tacked it, paid the price. Number of you, number of Rav. Shisha Chadashim, this is the after the Maisa Batsheva. Shisha Chadashim, it started David. David was a Sira for six months. Who partially made us Sanhedrin. Sanhedrin, they were perish from him. And the Stalkin, he made us Shechina, and the Shechina left him. It says what? It's, it's, it says, You shuvu li yireyecha. Return to me, those who fear you. Meaning the Sanhedrin, those who fear you should come back. The Yoyde, the Sech, and those who know your Abus. So in other words, David was paid the price. Uksiv. I fed him of Amarav, Kibel David Lashon Hara. So another Avera, David was Makabal Lashon Hara. Like this is a little more involved. 
Uh, I'll say it quickly. Again, we're doing it, you, you'll at least hear it once in your lives. Um, David has a rebellion. Shalom uh, rebels against him. David is, and David, one of, David had a best friend, Yehonah's son. Yehonah's son had a son, Mephibosheth. Mephibosheth. And um, he expected Mephibosheth to join him in, 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 uh, when he ran away. He expected him to join him. And, and Mephibosheth, Mephibosheth was going to join him. But Mephibosheth was a cripple. He was a cripple. He told his Eved, Siva, to go ahead and, and, and saddle up the donkey. Let's go to David. So Siva did saddle up the donkey. And he did want to go to David alone. And then David says, where's Mephibosheth? He goes, oh, he's waiting to get the Malchus back. So he, he was mouching on him. After, after it's over, David is victorious. Then the a rebellion of Abshalom is put down. David's returning. Uh, Mephibosheth comes out to greet him. And he says, Mephibosheth, why don't you go ahead, Rod, and, and join me? So he goes, Evid, it me sunny. My, my Evid tricked me. I told him to saddle the donkey. He, he left. So David did not know who to believe. So he divided up the estate of Shal. He said, Siva, You and Siva should divide the field. Mida Kenegan Mida, Rechavam and Yeravam divided the Malchus. Rechavam was Shlomo's son, David's grandson. Yeravam was Yeravam ben Nevat, the Russian Marusha. Says the Gemara. So therefore he paid the price. So Fred the Gemara, I did my son in Kabbalah Shnara. And Gemara, Kishmul, Kishmul, Dama Le Kibel, Dava Lashon Hara. Fred Gemara, Le Rab Nami, Dama Kibel, Dava Lashon Hara, on Mephibosheth, Ha Ifru Minei. He was also, he paid back, got paid back. Dama Rav Yehud, Dama Rav, the Shosham, Le Dava, the Mephibosheth, Samati, Atta Betziva, Tchaku, as a sod, you and Siva should divide the field. Yotz, the Basko, the Basko came out, Vamro, Loi, the Chavim, Yeravim, Michalku, as a Malchus. Okay, now we're discussing Shol, so we're going to say a little, little bit more about Shol. Then Shana Shal ben Malchai, Shal was in the first year of his reign. Guys, listen to this. Shal's 50 years old. Shal died at 52, 52 and a half. He was 52 years old. No, so I think so. I think so. Ben Shana, don't quote me. Ben Shana Shmuel, but again, Shal also. Ben Shana Shal ben Malchai, Amar Rav Huna, Ki Ben Shana. Shal was like what? A baby of a year old. Shaitam Tam Chet. When Shal came to the Malchus, it says, Ain Ishmael Esau told me menu. There was no one better than him. He had never done an Avera in his whole life. Never done an Avera. Maska, Lord of Nachman Yitzchak, says of Nachman Yitzchak, Vayim Ki Ben Shana, like a baby of a year old, Shemuluchlich Betit, Ubitsaya, they're dirty from schmutz and from other fecal matter, right? So why do you say Ben Shana is like he was squeaky clean like a baby? Maybe why he was dirty. So anyway, that's what Rav Nachman Yitzchak said. Achvayulir of Nachman Siyute Bechalmei. The Nachman saw angels, scary, scary angels in his sleep. Omar, he said, Nenesi lechem at Shol ben Kish. He says, he says that what? I spoke too strongly about the, about the bones of Shol ben Kish. In other words, he realized the reason he's seeing these scary malachim is because he said that Shol, perhaps at, at a year old, I was, I was like a baby of a year old that he was full of chatayim. So as a result, he saw very scary things. He again saw in his dreams. Oman and Nasi, I spoke showing Lachem at Meshal ben Kish, and now he has two words. Melech Yisrael. The first time it wasn't enough. Shal ben Kish. Yeah, he still saw the Malachim till it was Maida, Melech Yisrael. That is Melech Yisrael. So again, the, the Gemara says I, somewhere, I, we'll see it, I think, in this Mesechda. That Shol says, I know, when Shol goes to battle, when Shol goes to battle, he's in the same chalik of Olam Haba as Shmuel. And Shmuel, it says about, it says about Shmuel that that uh, Moshe Bar Mekoyan of Shmuel, Shmuel, right? Of Bukhari Shmai. So Lechayra, we, we can figure out that Shol's in a pretty, pretty high place. And Rav Nachman is what? I think Shol was king for two and a half years. A very very short period of time. It was two and a half years, I think, he was, he was king. Okay. Amrav Yehuda Meshmuel. If they maloy nimshcha malchus be shol, why was shol's malchus? Why didn't why didn't it last? If they listen to this guy, if they shloy hoyu leboy shum doifi, he did not have any any skeletons in his closet. He had no shum doifi. He had he, he was he came from he came from perfection. He, you find that shol. Not that he was. I don't know who's fine schmeck is, but you see Michal Bashal also. She gave it to David when David was being she is She held a certain way. And David was a man of the, the people. Shal was more of a higher class. 
in terms of he had, he had no skeletons. It's caused the Rebbe Yochanan Mishum, Rebbe Shimon Yai Tzadik. Ain Amid and Parnas al Tzibur. You don't appoint a Parnas, a leader of a Tzibur. Elam Kain Kupa shall shrach him to Leolai Mechayra. Unless there's what he's carrying, literally a necklace of shrachim around his neck. Why Shem Tuzuk Taita Yolav? If he gets to 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 haughty, I'm in Loi Chaz Lacharecha. Turn around, see where you come from. I think a person who wants to be king, if he comes from such a, a fine shmecha, miyuchistik mishpacha, without any, he can't possibly re- relate to the common man. A person, a person who's been through, a person who comes from Rusam Ovia, a person who had a question about his lineage. We spoke about David and Yeshua many times on Shuas. David, the first 28 years of his life, he was a chashad, he was a mamza. There were plenty, plenty of stuff that went on. And as a result, he was very, very, very successful as the king. I'm going to them a rap. If they man nena shol, why was shol shol punished? They should michael al kafoidai, because shol was michael on his cover, shnemar, who benebli al omru. And benebli al says, my yashienu zeh, by yavusu, they embarrassed shol. Instead of shol killing him, they didn't bring a mincha, by he came after it. He was quiet. He was quiet. He was quiet, but still, he let them make fun of him, and he was quiet. Okay. Uh, it's, it's just to conclude. A little concluding statement, a little difference. So, Taka, why wasn't Hashem Michael Shol like it was Michael David? Well, why wasn't he? So, the various Shol were, were twofold. Basically, the various was he didn't wait for Shmuel to come. Why didn't he wait? It says, he says, the people were saying, bring the carbon, bring the carbon. We have to go to battle, bring the carbon. He was listening to the people. He listened to people by Ovir Kahanan. He listened to Doeg, right? By Agag. He listened to Doeg. Doeg convinced him. He was always being manipulated. A king has to be, the buck stops here. A king has to be, he has to be the among the decisions. He has to have a Kaddish broken in front of his eyes all the time. Shol's Averis showed about Shol that he didn't have what it took to be the Melech. David's Averis had nothing to do with Malchus. There was Zaytuk and Yonim, Batsheva, Uriah, counting the people. They had nothing to do with, with his Malchus or his ability to be a Melech. Shol's Averis was Megala about Shol. This is Rebbe Chaim Shmolevitz. Shol's Averis were Megala about Shol that he could be the Melech. Avada Kaddish Baruch was Michael. Avada. He was Michael. Shol, he was Michael. W was Michael. He did Shuvah. He was Michael. But what his Averis did, guys, it was Megala. It showed that what? He wasn't, he, he wasn't fit to be the king. He, he was too nice. You see? And we conclude the Gemara. Why, why was Shol, why did he lose the Malchus? Because people embarrassed him. He was ah, no. Can you imagine David? He would have chopped the heads off. No. The king has, guys, the king can kill that Sanhedrin. The king can kill that Sanhedrin. The king has a huge power. Shol was just too nice. Shol was Nechbel like Halem. When they went to find him, he was hiding with the luggage. He didn't, couldn't believe that he's the Melech. He, he didn't want to be the Melech. He was, a, he was an Onav. He was a good sky. He was a good person. Just wasn't a good king. Have a good evening. Thank you.